In this section, we're going to talk about observables. What observables are, they are one of the three cores of Knockout.js. They also allows you to read and write the values, and also subscriptions for notifying a change, which pretty much this means that you can have other uh, Knockout functions and so forth that uh, can be subscribed to uh, knockout observables, so when that data actually changes, you can fire off other events. One of the first things we're going to look at is a view model uh, in Knockout, which is basically your essential building block of Knockout. Everything revolves around a view model. And here's an example of a very basic view model. Here we are instantiating uh, a var view model and then adding two columns there, product name, product cat. Very straightforward. So now let's go into Visual Studio and look into the code and see how we pull off an example. Now in Visual Studio, what we're going to do is open up our view for uh, observable that we created earlier. So go ahead and click on that. And we'll open up, and as you see, that there's nothing here. Um, so we're going to fill some stuff out here. So in order to create an observable, we need to write this in a JavaScript script block. And uh, a little note in MVC4, we can have a section called scripts that we want to encapsulate our JavaScript in. And this, what this will do is it will render scripts uh, at the bottom of our master page. So when the page will it renders out, this is at the bottom. Let's go down here. And as you see, this is where that section renders scripts out here. So anything we type in between these two curly braces will show up down here at the bottom. While we're here, one other thing that we want to do is we want to include our knockout bundle that we specified earlier in the setup. So we'll do bundles and then knockout. Close print. Oh, I didn't spell bundles properly. Let me go ahead and fix that. Okay, so now that we have that correctly spelled um, and added, uh, we should be adding jQuery, which was there by default. Now we're adding our knockout uh, JavaScript libraries, which just for review, are in our scripts folder, they're going to be adding knockout 2.1 and knockout.mapping uh, based on this call right here. So let's go ahead and save that. Now we are done with our uh, layout uh, master page, so go ahead and close that. All right, back to our observables view page. Uh, the first thing we wanted to do is just uh, write out a simple uh, view model. That's JavaScript, close tag. So we could do that by var view model equals open curly brace, close curly brace. Let's write that section of it. So we'll do a product name. Colon widget, comma, and then product cat, colon other. Okay. And what we want to do now is we need to bind that. Bind, bindings view model. What this does is that this tells Knockout that, hey, we want to uh, instantiate this view model. Um, with this data so that the UI can actually use this. So what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to just make a simple span tag and do our data bind, which this is uh, data bind is used for all of Knockout. Uh, so any of your HTML elements are going to be uh, using this data bind um, uh, to call your, your Knockout elements. So I'm going to say text, product name, and let's see, uh, my, oops, pardon me, Go my product name is that, and it's contained in the category of 
doing our span and our data bind. And we'll do product cat. Oops. Let's do text product cat. That's better. Because we have to tell what, what bind we want to do with that. Um, so that'll help. Okay. So now if we save the page. Go ahead and you can control F5, which will build the MVC project. And here's our basic page. Oh, up here, up top, you can just type in observables. And it'll, oops, don't forget home. It's part of the home controller. There you go. Here is our observables page. 